Instruments that measure total dissolved solids are typically called TDS meters or conductivity meters. They measure the flow of electrical current between two metal posts within the probe. The more salts that are in the water, the higher the reading. A meter needs to be regularly calibrated because as the battery life decreases, the meter loses its calibration. In addition to your meter, you'll need some other supplies. Perhaps a set of screwdrivers, a squeezable squirt bottle filled with DI water, a closable waste container, and your calibration solution. Be sure to use a calibration solution that approximates the conductivity of the water you're going to be monitoring. Online in the Clean Water Team Toolbox, you'll find a calibration data sheet. You'll need to insert your project ID, the type of event that the calibration is supporting, in this case, training, enter the instrument ID. For example, TDS CWT011. This refers to a TDS meter owned by the clean water team and it's the 11th one that we've purchased. Units are what we are measuring. In this case, micro -seam. Date of calibration event, that's the date that you actually do the calibration. In this case, July 3rd, 2013. Time of the calibration event was one in the afternoon or 1300 hours. The reason for the calibration is to support training. It's important to record the temperature of your calibration solution at the time you conduct your calibration. Also record the thermometer's identification or tracking number. On your bottle of calibration fluid, you'll find the value of the calibration standard, a tracking number or lot number, and an expiration date. The true value of our standard material in this instance is 1,413 microsiemens. Begin by pouring calibration solution into a clean cup. Prepare the cup by pouring some calibration solution into it and swirling it around. Then decant this into your waste container. Over your waste container, rinse your TDS probe with DI water. Place your clean TDS probe into the container filled with fresh calibration solution. Check your meter's digital readout and compare it to your calibration standard. Record the value of this first reading. If your meter's output does not match the calibration standard value, you'll need to adjust your meter. Some of the older TDS meters have an adjustment screw. Others use buttons. Adjust your meter so that the output has the same value as your calibration solution. Test the adjusted meter against your calibration solution and record the value. Make additional adjustments if the values differ. And again, test against the calibration solution to ensure that the meter is calibrated correctly. Record this third value as well. In our calibration spreadsheet for action taken, we'll be writing in calibrated, and we record the meter's final reading after calibration. Make sure to record the name of the person who calibrated the meter and any additional comment. Replace the meter's cap or access panel. Clean off your meter and return it to its storage container. Pour out your used calibration solution into the waste container and rinse out the cup that it was in. Dispose of it 
as per your calibration solutions material safety data sheet. Your TDS meter is now ready for field use.